I'm Zara Lawler, and today we're going to be talking about another chest opening stretch. Pretty much any instrument that you play is in front of your body, and we all tend to curl forward when we play. Unless, of course, you're one of those awesome rock star guitars who just plays like this all the time. But for the rest of us, flutists, violinists, pianists, trombonists, we all spend time curled forward, and as a result, these muscles all get shortened. And the muscles in our upper and middle backs get stretched out and pulled. And it can lead to burning pain in the back and a lot of constriction up in the, in the chest. So it makes sense to have a repertoire of stretches that will open up these muscles and bring our bodies back into a sense of balance between the front and the back. So, we've already talked about the nameless shoulder stretch, which I now think of the reverse volleyball. That's the one where you clasp your hands behind your back and stretch this way. It's a pretty intense stretch, so the one we're going to talk about today is a little bit milder, and so it's particularly nice to use as a warm down after you've been practicing for a while. It's easiest to do this stretch in a doorway or at a doorway because what you do is you put your whole forearm against the frame of the door so that you have a little something to push against. And the key here is that your elbow is above your shoulder, not parallel to your shoulder and not below. Above your shoulder. Once you've got your elbow above your shoulder and your arm braced against the door frame, all you do is lean forward a little bit until you feel a nice stretch all the way across here. Whew, feels good. <laughs> and then you hold it for 30 seconds because this is a milder stretch than the reverse volleyball, which you only hold for 10 seconds at a time. You can stay here for a full 30 seconds. And while you're here, you can experiment with ways to lean forward. If you lean forward sort of from your upper torso, see what that feels like. See what it feels like if you experiment with bringing your hip forward a little bit. You might adjust the stretch a little bit that way um, to suit your needs. Of course, after you've done one side for 30 seconds, you do the other. And you just need to turn around and get yourself situated in your door frame for the opposite arm. You will probably find that it feels different on the other side. As a choreographer friend of mine used to say, you can marvel at the asymmetry of the human body. And of course that makes sense. Flutists bring their left arm all the way across the front of their body, so this muscle gets really, really shortened. Whereas on the right side, our muscles are almost in regular alignment, so the, this side never feels as tight as this side for me. I'm sure you will find something similar for you and your instrument. So to sum up, number one, make sure that your elbow is above your shoulder. Elbow above the shoulder. That's crucial for getting the full effect of this stretch. And while you're at it, make sure that your shoulder doesn't come up while you're doing this stretch. So make sure as you stretch, your shoulder stays low. It doesn't creep up. Number two, make sure you get the full 30 seconds on both sides. Watch the clock. You will find that on some days, 30 seconds feels like nothing. And on days when you're tight, 30 seconds feels a, like a long time. So watch the clock and make sure you get the full benefit of the stretch. And I encourage you to try this as a warm down exercise. It's really nice after a long practice session or after you're finished for the day to just get your chest to open back up. It kind of helps you get back into a normal person posture instead of musician posture. 